And then he said, not only teach them the truth, but also with wisdom do everything you can to bring that message to everyone you know. If St. Paul was around, they will use YouTube and they will use internet because he wants Jesus to be known to people. That was his mission all over. That's why he said, I am the least among the apostles. But if I put together everything I did, I did more than them put together. Imagine. Because he works in power. He was not afraid because you waved a weapon in front of him. You, he was not afraid because you threw him in prison. You were not afraid because you took away food and, and drink from him. He was not afraid because they said to him that he is going to destroy the town. He was not afraid of a group of people who really gang on him and they want to destroy him. Because he had one determination to make Jesus known and to correct and to bring to the truth everyone who is of Jesus. And that's why he ends by saying that each one of us has to present everybody as perfect to the eternal Father. Because perfection is only perfect. Be perfect as our Holy Father, as our Father is perfect. Today, as you know, our parish is celebrating the feast of our Lady. And if we look at her, at her life, she was the most steward of all of, of all of us. She was a woman like you and I. She knows what life is all about. She was not naive. <laughs> Year, not even 15, 16 years of age, the angel said to her, you are going to have a child. She said, say it again. <laughs> you are going to have a child. I can't. I consecrate my life to God. I am not going to have a relation with men. I promise that. You are going to have a child. And you're going to call him Jesus. He's going to be the Son of God. And the power of Spirit will over and overpower him. At that very moment, Mary, full of God, and also knowledge of what God is all about, because she was the Plena Gratia, because she was created from the first moment of her conception so beautiful that sin has nothing to do with her. She understands that the voice of the angel is the will of God. And more and moreover, when the angel said to her, and your relative Elizabeth, although she is old and she was barren, she is in her six months of having a baby. And Mary said to the angel, Fia, secondo garbo tu. Let it be done to me according to your word. At that very moment, heaven and earth united, and God come one of us. That's why at the word of the incarnation, we kneel and bow, and George always make us understand the importance of this great mystery. That God who does not need us, and we add nothing to his glory, we add nothing to his power, humble himself and become nothing, like you and I, subject to all this that the flesh is all about, so that he can show you how much he loves you by dying for you to redeem. And as soon as she heard the word, Elizabeth is expecting, she ran to the hill of Hebron for two days on foot to serve her relative Elizabeth. This is the stewardship that Mary teaches. Now many of you are mothers and many of you have ba have, did, did have babies and the first days of the conception are not fun and games. When the whole body is changing, all your, your innards are changing, everything is changing. And you begin to see you no know, stars, no, we don't want to see no people in front of you because it is the change in you because you are going to be a mother. And with all that, Mary ran to the end of Hebron 
to wash the feet of the little one, to prepare the little clothes for King John, and to do all this, to teach us that stewardship is what God wants from us. And that's why Mary can say to us at the, at the Feast of Cana, do what he tell you. Because she was very much aware that to do God's will is what it is necessary of each one of us if we want to have peace. Many of you here did not listen to your parents and when your mother said to, him, said to you, this man is not the man for you. And you said, but I love him, mommy. <laughs> 10, 15 years later, mommy was right. And you are now in the pain, I don't want to say it from the order. Because if you do not listen to the voice of God, that God speaks to us in different voices, can be our mother, can be our friend, can be your priest, whoever it is, God always has a message for you. And you need to listen to that message because you will never have happiness in your life. Do you understand that? And if we listen to God and what He said to us through those people He put in the course of our journey, we will be at peace. That's why Mary said, I so glorify the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior because he looked at my loneliness and raised me up that all generations to come will call me blessed. This is the woman we honor tonight. This is the woman that is asking us to look at her and imitate her if we want to have peace. And if we imitate her, not only we are pleased in the eyes of God, but that love of God within us is going to be so much as we say on fire to do good for others. And when you see people do for others and they go out of their way to do it, let me tell you, those are the people who really believe in God. The rest, you can drop them. As the Irish say, is a happy. Because in time of crisis, they will not be there for you. Somebody who is with God, you know that you can depend on. Somebody who is away from God, stay away from Him because you will be asked for trouble. We need to have this mission in our hearts that we need to do what He asks of us and what we learn in our catechism. God create me, let's say it together. God create me, to love Him, to serve Him, and to be with Him forever in the life to come. To love God, we need to know Him from the Scripture. To serve Him in those people who come around us. And you don't serve in Africa, you serve your own family. Prepare the table for people that you are for in, 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 uh, you are for in, the, in the house. Clean the house from the street. See your neighbor who needs some. She is elderly. Take a list and meet some grocery for you. Take somebody to doctors. Bring somebody to church. Those are the things that we need to do, dear people. If you think that you are doing a favor to God by sitting in that pew, you are wasting your time. We need to evangelize. We need to bring people to Jesus. Because that's why we are baptized. To be called to be saved. To bring the good news. And may we be steward of that good news. Because at the end of the journey, we are going to be answered. What you have done with what I gave you to make me known to those I gave you in the paths of your life. God bless.